Sumatriptan is one of the medication that is used to treat migraine headache. It can be used in the management of acute attacks of migraine which is associated with headache or cluster headache. This medication is available as tablet for ease of administration and it is also available as a nasal spray and even a subcutaneous injection. Sumatriptan can produce constriction of cranial blood vessels. This can relieve the symptoms of headache that is associated with acute attacks of migraine. However, this medication can also reduce the underlying inflammation in the acute attacks of migraine. Sumatriptan acts on the serotonin receptors and it is classified as 5-T1B or 1-D agonist. By acting on these receptors, it can reduce inflammation as well as it can produce vasoconstriction. That's why it can be used in the acute attacks of migraine. However, before using this medication, you should know important facts. What is the effect of this medication on the heart? Actually, this medication is going to acting on the cranial blood vessels. But what is effect on the coronary blood vessels? How it affects the function of your heart? What is its effect on your blood pressure? Whether it is going to increase the blood pressure or reducing the blood pressure? And what precaution should be considered while using this medication? What is its effect on systemic arteries? All these are very important to know. Another important aspect is that Sumatriptan is used to treat the headache in the migraine. But it surprisingly, in few cases, it can enhance the severity of the headache due to improper use of this medication. So which factors are going to increase this response? All such things are very important to know. So this video covers all such key facts about Sumatriptan. At the end of this video, we also discuss about the key points of this medication like what is the right doses of this Sumatriptan for treating migraine headaches, how it works, what are the common and important side effects of this medication and which is the main precaution that should be considered while taking this medication. All such things we will discuss at the end of this video. If you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends for supporting our work. So without any delay, let's start about Sumatriptan. First of all, let us see how this medication works. Cranial blood vessels are responsible for development of headache in the migraine. When these cranial blood vessels are dilated, they can put more pressure on the scalp and bone structures of the brain, leading to increased severity of the headache. Therefore, one of the primary treatment for relieving the headache is the constriction of cranial blood vessels. However, Sumatriptan can also act in another way. It acts on the few of the neurons, particularly serotonergic neurons. These neurons are expressed with serotonergic receptors like 5-ST1B or 5-ST1D receptors. These are the autoreceptors which are present on the presynaptic neurons. Now, Sumatriptan can selectively activate these receptors. It acts as a agonist on 5-ST1B or 1D receptors, so it can bind with higher affinity to these receptors. When these receptors are activated, they can suppress the activity of adenyl cyclase enzyme. When this enzyme is inhibited, the levels of the cyclic AMP production is inhibited, which is more important for increased intracellular calcium levels and release of the mediator from the neurons. Therefore, sumatriptan can reduce the cyclic AMP production in the presynaptic neurons, which inhibits the release of neurotransmitters and neuropeptides that produce inflammation leading to symptoms of migraine headache. This is one part of action of Sumatriptan on reducing the inflammation associated with migraine. Similarly, this medication can also directly act on the cranial blood vessels. These cranial blood vessels are expressed with again 5-ST1B or 1D receptors. Now, Sumatriptan can directly activate these receptors resulting in the vasoconstriction. Because of this vasoconstriction, the symptoms of headache can be relieved with use of this medication. Now let us the precautions that should be considered with use of Sumatriptan. Just we have seen that Sumatriptan can produce as vasoconstriction. It particularly produces constriction of cranial blood vessels. This is due to its direct action on the cranial blood vessels. 
However, it can also affect the other blood vessels, particularly it can affect, similarly it can also act on the blood vessels supplying to the heart leading to coronary vasoconstriction. Therefore, with use of sumatriptan, the blood supply to the cardiac system is reduced, which may develop few symptoms and it may also lead to one of the condition, transient ischemia. It is a temporary condition of reduced blood flow to the heart, which significantly affects the function of your heart. And it may also lead to increased heart rate leading to cardiac arrhythmias and even it can increase the risk of myocardial infarction. This may develop few symptoms in the people like rapid heartbeats, chest pain, pressure and tightness in the chest wall, unexpected weakness. All these symptoms can be observed due to coronary vasoconstriction. Therefore, if you notice such symptoms with use of sumatripton, then it should be carefully continued as it may significantly impair coronary function. In the people with pre-existing cardiac disorders, this medication should be carefully used. Sumatripton is used to treat migraine headache. However, before treating this headache, proper diagnosis should be done and in a few people, the headache may be also due to any dysfunction of the neuronal function. In such cases, use of sumatripton may not be effective. Surprisingly, sumatripton can also enhance the severity of the headache if it is improperly used. When this medication is used at higher doses and particularly when it is under overuse, the severity of the headache may be increased. When you are taking the sumatripton at overdose for greater than 10 days in a month, the risk of enhanced severity of the headache can be observed. There is a sensitive balance between vasoconstriction and vasodilation. Since sumatripton produces vasoconstriction, on overuse, contracting mechanisms may be developed, leading to increased vasodilatory response that results in enhanced perception of headache. Therefore, never use a sumatripton at higher doses than recommended. Sumatripton can also affect your blood pressure. This is due to its direct action on systemic blood vessels. Even though it is selectively acting on the cranial blood vessels, it has some action on the systemic blood vessels leading to direct vasoconstriction. Therefore, with use of sumatripton, the blood pressure is increased and in the people with pre-existing hypertension, this medication may produce significant elevation in the blood pressure and even it can precipitate a condition called hypertensive crisis, an emergency condition of elevated blood pressure. Therefore, while using this medication, try to monitor blood pressure regularly and any abnormal change in the blood pressure should be closely monitored. And in case of hypertensive crisis, this medication should be immediately stopped. Use of sumatripton can also produce chest tightness, pressure and pain in the chest. This is due to the decreased blood supply to the coronary system. Therefore, if you observe any chest tightness, immediately you should report to your doctor. And this medication can also produce jaw and neck pain. These two symptoms also indicate the decreased blood supply to the heart and they may resemble angina-like attacks. Therefore, closely monitor these symptoms with use of sumatripton. And in case of severity of these symptoms and repetition in their frequency, the dose of sumatripton may be reduced or it may be temporarily discontinued, assess its effect on your coronary system. Another effect of this medication is the development of serotonin syndrome. It is one of the conditions which is produced by elevated levels of serotonin in the brain. It results in various symptoms like dizziness, sweating, confusion and rapid heartbeats. Sumatripton acts as a agonist on the serotonin receptors. Therefore, it can increase the transmission of serotonin in the brain. Therefore, this medication can induce serotonin syndrome, particularly when it is combined with few other medications like SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Medications like fluoxetine, peroxetine, sertraline, fluoxamine, citalopram and acetalopram, all these are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. These medications are used to treat depression and in a few people, the depression may coexist with the migraine. Therefore, there is a chance of prescribing SSRIs along with sumatripton. In such conditions, the 5-ST levels are excessively elevated in the brain, leading to serotonin syndrome. 
Similarly, few other medications like SNRIs, serotonin, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors like venlafaxine, duloxetine and desvenlafaxine. All these are the SNRIs that are used in the treatment of depression as well as we have the painful conditions like fibromyalgia. Therefore, again, there is a chance of using SNRIs along with sumatripton which increase the risk of serotonin syndrome. Another important effect of sumatripton is the development of dizziness. It can produce some lightheadedness and even drowsiness in the people. It can also produce unexpected weakness. Therefore, with use of this medication, initially you have to stand very slowly and you have to drive the vehicles carefully. However, this dizziness may also be associated with uh, migraine attacks. Generally, after a migraine attack, people may have some dizziness, lightheadedness and confusion. So, whether it is not clear that sumatripton is directly linked with development of dizziness. However, while taking this medication, the risk of dizziness may be elevated. Therefore, you should be careful while driving the vehicles or working with the hazardous machinery. Even though rare sumatripton can affect your vision, it can produce some transient loss of vision. Therefore, you should be careful to notice any changes in your vision. An abnormal change in the vision should be immediately reported and the drug may be discontinued. And in case of any coexisting risk factors, sumatripton can produce permanent loss of vision leading to blindness. However, this is a rare condition that may be present in people with pre-existing disorders of vision or any other risk factors. Now, let us the doses of this medication. Sumatripton is available as tablets. It can be, it is available at different strengths such as 25 mg, 50 mg and 100 mg. It is also available as a nasal spray for intranasal purpose. Even it is available as pre-filled syringe for subcutaneous injection. As a tablet, it can be used at a dose range of 25 to 100 mg. The dose depends on the severity of the headache and it may be individualized. However, for each dose, sumatripton should not be taken above 100 mg as it is fatal and significantly affects the function of your heart. And the dose can be repeated after every 2 hours in case of severity of migraine attacks. The maximum dose of sumatripton is 200 mg per day, so it should not be taken above 200 mg by oral route. The dose is different when you are going to take by intranasal route or as subcutaneous rule. As a subcutaneous injection, it can be given at a dose of 6 mg and the dose may be repeated after 1 hour if it is required. In case of intranasal spray, it may be the dose may be variable from 5 mg to 20 mg based on the severity of the migraine attacks. Now let's see the key facts about this medication. What is this medication Sumatripton? Sumatripton is a 5-HT1B or 1-D receptor agonist. It produces direct vasoconstriction of cranial blood vessels. It also reduces the release of inflammatory mediators in the brain. What is the common side effect of this medication? The main side effect of sumatripton is the coronary vasoconstriction. It can produce chest pain, tightness and pressure and even it can produce jaw and neck pain. Which precaution should be considered while taking sumatripton? Sumatripton can increase the blood pressure. It can produce coronary vasoconstriction leading to cardiac arrhythmias and angina. And even though rare, it can also affect your vision. So any change in the vision should be immediately monitored. So that's all about this medication, sumatripton.